What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a spring lookbook for you guys. I have six spring looks for you. These are perfect for transitioning into spring and spring as well. And I'm so excited to be showing you guys a lookbook. I haven't filmed one in so long just because I haven't really had the help to help me film them. And they just take a little bit longer to produce than rather a clothing haul or anything like that. But they are definitely my favorite to film. And I think they're your guys' favorite too. But I'm not going to make this intro super long. I'm just going to jump right into the lookbook portion. And then if you want to stay to the end, I'm going to kind of break down each look and kind of explain how I styled it. I hope you guys enjoyed the lookbook portion. I'm just going to jump right into it and kind of break down each look. So look number one is a super fun all camel, all neutral kind of look. I love this look. It's super classy. It's great if you like, work in a corporate job or for me, I was going to press days all day this day and I had back to back meetings. So I threw this on because I felt super chic, but it was also comfortable enough that I could like walk around in it all day and walk the city and stuff like that. Um, but I felt super put together and just very chic and kind of on trend so I'm obsessed with all camels I think it's like instantly a put together look so the key to this is you could kind of bring in different color neutrals but don't bring any in any other colors so I had tan cream and camel which are all within the same like, color story so you could definitely play on that so I had a camel bag camel pants camel jacket like a tannish color shirt and then cream shoes and it kind of worked because it was all within that same story so I definitely would have brought wouldn't have brought in any black or white definitely try to stay away from that that's the key to styling this look is you want to kind of stay within the neutrals creams and camels family Look number two, this top screams spring to me. I'm obsessed with it. It's from Urban Outfitters. I love the print of it. It's like a super vintage floral print. I love all the colors in it and kind of how I style this is I wanted to I wanted it to be super girly. So I paired it back with a light wash denim and pink accessories. So this really cute little mini pink bag and then these pink flats as well, which are super comfortable, perfect for spring. They are just great to wear like going to work or out with your friends you could kind of wear them whatever um so that was kind of my whole styling tip to this is like i wanted to kind of let the shirt pop so i didn't bring in anything crazy but i did want to make it a little bit girly which is why i did bring in pink Look number three, so I work with Petite Studio, you guys know this, they are definitely one of my favorite brands and why is because I'm very petite. Anytime I walk into a department store I'll try on an extra small or a small and like 
contemporary brands and they just are swimming on me it's very hard for me to shop in department stores which is why i usually do stick with fast fashion i feel like items run a little bit smaller but this brand is obviously made for girls who are a little bit more petite so every one of their items just looks like it was tailored to fit my body perfectly which is what i love and i'm a size extra small in their clothing line so this shirt is from them it's super fun it's sage i'm also loving the color sage for spring i think it's really pretty and polka dots is a huge trend so i was like why not make this kind of shirt the statement of the whole entire look so i played it down with everything else i wore so i wore cream jeans and cream boots just so it was like kind of like all cream on the bottom and a pop at the top and then of course i wore the matching scrunchie because why not scrunchies are so in headbands are so in hair clips are so in i feel like i'm back in middle school but i'm kind of loving it back to the simple times um but yeah this look was super fun and definitely let the shirt kind of steal the show next up this trench coat is amazing for spring in new york it's still definitely a little bit chilly and i just kind of want that perfect spring coat to throw on whatever i'm wearing so i had on a white t-shirt and boyfriend jeans which is such a staple look for me i live in t-shirts and jeans um and i threw on this plaid trench on top just to kind of make it a little bit more practical for a chilly day and then i paired it back with gucci loafers and a gucci black bag and i went with loafers because i was walking around in soho doing some shopping this day and i really wanted comfort to kind of come first so this outfit is still really put together and really like on trend and chic but it's also super comfortable and super casual as well and perfect for just like a day of walking around if you're going to a museum shopping anything like that look number five this is another shirt from petite studio and i'm obsessing with their prints and patterns for spring it's definitely something a little bit different for me but i am trying to step out of my fashion comfort zone for spring playing with colors prints and patterns so this one is super fun and what i love is the cinch detail up the front of the shirt super sexy but not like over the top and you could definitely still get away with wearing this outfit to lunch so basically how i styled it is i paired it back with a boyfriend jean i live in boyfriend jeans you guys know this so i just kind of always throw them on with any feminine top to make it a little bit more casual a little bit more my style and of course I brought in beige so I brought in my beige Zara sandals which are my favorite this season perfect beige sandal to kind of bring in that element of beige I brought it back through a bag this bag was actually from forever 21 so super super affordable and super on trend because all these little kind of woven bags are really in and it kind of like dressed down this look a little bit and made it a little bit more appropriate for during the day if you were wearing this top and jeans at night i would maybe go with a different handbag and shoes obviously but i wanted to make it perfect for going to lunch with your friends or your family or something like that so i kept it super low-key and casual this last look this sweater screams spring i don't think i have a piece in my wardrobe as springy as this piece i don't even know if springy is the word but i'm just gonna go with it but I'm obsessed with not only the color but the pattern the texture of it everything about it just makes me so happy every time I wear it I just have the biggest smile on my face and the day I wore it I'm not kidding like so many people came up to me and were just like I love that sweater where is it from like it's just like a very welcoming sweater I guess and it made me super approachable which is not always the case but anyway i'm obsessed with the sweaters from urban outfitters and since this was super super girly and kind of different for me i was like how can i make it a little bit more casual and a little bit more my style so i paired it back with a black boyfriend jean and a white sneaker super casual but also super girly and super super <laughs> i said super like 10 times and on trend for spring but there you guys have it that is six looks for you guys for spring i hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook let me know down below if you would like to see more lookbooks from me and also let me know down below which look was your favorite because i'm very curious and i can't decide which one's my favorite but definitely make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and make sure to follow me along on instagram i'll put a little bit a little link right here or a little picture of my instagram not really sure what i'm saying but anyway i post on there every single day my outfit inspiration so if you want a little bit more content from me definitely follow along there but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video